This is The Big House. It's all about storage, and we have so much stuff these days, Bill. Where do you put it? You go to a storage facility. How much does that cost you? can cost you $200 a month. Wasted money. Well, you've got this space in your roof that uh, can be converted to an, a, very, a very effective space, not only for storage, but also for things such as ventilation, light, those sort of things. So when you think about the, your roof space, it's a very underutilised asset in your, uh, in your home. And uh, again, I had a mate of mine, this is the inspiration for all these, all yeah. these topics, a mate of mine called me and said, listen, can you, uh, can you come around here to talk to you? I've got a problem uh, uh, at home. And I said, well, what is it? He said, oh, about the roof. So can you come during the day? You and, thought it was the problem with the wife? Or well, I thought, you know, I didn't, didn't know, know what, the, what, it was, what yeah. the problem or was. TV yeah. reception. Exactly. So I get up there and he says, uh, can you have a look at the roof? And uh, I said, from the inside or outside? He said, no, in. I want to have a look inside the roof cavity. So I've got up, had a look, and I said, what, what's wrong with it? He said, I'm thinking about an attic. What do you think? Ah. <laughs> and I just spent the hour round trip just going to his place. And he said, I'm thinking about an attic. What do you think? And uh, the short answer is he's now looking at an attic. And we have the man that specialises in this area with us from the attic group, David Sharp. Good morning to you. Good morning, Darren. Hey, you make attics in uh, existing roofs, don't you? We do. That's exactly right. First of all, uh, you're going to have to have enough support to be able to get up there and store stuff or you're going to come through it. That's correct. We often lay what's referred to as a battened floor. So we strengthen the existing joists and we screw down a platform on top of that. Like a one of those yellow tongue? Do you That's use yellow exactly tongue? Right. Exactly right, Darren. Yeah, and then you've got the, case, the staircases or, in fact, some cases, ladders getting up into the roof. That's correct. Usually when we access the, play, the space for storage, we access it via a ladder, so a drop-down ladder. We actually manufacture a range of ladders ourselves in our factories. And, yeah, so we install those, and that then gains you access to that roof space. What are some of the things that people have turned their attic space into, apart from just plain old storage? Well, look, obviously there's the option for extending your living space. So bedrooms, bathrooms, studies, rumpus rooms, playrooms and the like. You've done a playroom for the kids that is ladder accessible? Absolutely. It's what we often refer to as our premium room. Yeah. So it's built as, as if any second story addition. It remains entirely within the roof space and we all access it via ladder. How long does it take to put one in generally? Look, as a general rule, a basic system can be completed in a day by one of our carpenters. Yeah, it's pretty good. Through yeah. to a, a dust-proofed room, which can be two to three days, and then right through to an attic extension like where we may be there for three to four months. Uh, I like Matt, good morning. G'day, Matt. Uh, look, I, I was fortunate enough to um, have some dealings with the attic group, and I now, I've got an old California bungalow, and I'm fortunate enough to have it's uh, seven metres by four metres uh, rooftop ad attic storage that yeah. I can um, essentially stand at full stretch, don't touch the roof. And you, it's read, amazing. you read our mind, Matt. Yeah. We were talking about different buildings and different roof profiles. So a uh, uh, California bungalow is just a perfect building for oh. an attic. Just perfect. It's I used to, used to own one and it's just perfect because you've got that headroom, you've got the space. It's a huge, a very high roof profile. Uh, it's something like 24, 25 degrees perhaps even a bit more. So good for you. Uh, what do you keep up there, Matt? We, sorry, what was that? What do you keep up there? Oh, I keep everything. We've, we've got uh, three young children, so... Uh, keep as keep we them go up there. The progressive stage, <laughs> which, as we go through the progressive stages, you know, clothes, toys, yeah. um, everything just gets stored. It's hidden away. We've, we've got ample storage in the home, but just all the big bulky things are tied up in the shed. They're all just neatly in their, in their place up in the roof. And, nice, uh, Good Clever. on you, Matt. We'd Clever better go work. because we've run out of time. David Sharp from the Attic Group. How can we contact you? Oh, there it is. Attic A double T I C group or call one three hundred six double five five two five. Watch this space. Watch that space. Always look up and you might find a whole new room. Thanks right. for coming in. Thanks, Darren. Good on you, David. Coming up to eleven o'clock and the news here on three W six nine three. I'm staying here for Streetwise through until twelve. Then the footy.